our Lord Jesus Christ. I welcome you into today's reflection taken from the Gospel according to Matthew chapter 21 verses 33 to 43 and 45 to 46 about the parable of the tenants. So in this parable, there are characters we really need to be aware of and what they represent. There is the landowner, which is God, the vineyard represent Israel, and the tenants are the religious Jewish leadership. It happened that the tenants played a huge role as they seized his servants. They beat one, killed another, and stoned a third. Then he sent another servant to them more than the first time, and the tenants treated them the same way. After telling this parable, we hear that Jesus asked them a simple question according to their understanding. He said, When, therefore, the owner of the vineyard comes, what will he do to those tenants? So after they replied, as after they given their response, Jesus said, as he continued in the same parable, that he is the cornerstone for those who believe and the stumbling block and the rock of offense to those who don't. In other words, you cannot be neutral towards Jesus and you will be either richly blessed or severely crushed depending on your response to him. Jesus concludes in the parable by saying, the kingdom of God will be taken away from you and given to a people that will produce its fruit. Christ tells the chief priests and Pharisees standing in front of him in the temple that the kingdom of God will be taken from them. Also, if we see among ourselves, there are those who consider themselves on whom we see as the Pharisees and chief priests and think that the kingdom of God belongs to them. Let us remind ourselves as brothers and sisters that this kingdom we possess in words shall be taken away from us if we don't produce its fruit. So dear brothers and sisters, in our Lord Jesus Christ, let us not be like those tenants, for they were like one of the stories told by a great man about the red ants and the black ants. So it's said that if you put these two different kind of ants in the bottle, they will live in peace. But once you take the bottle, you shake it, and then you put it back, I'm telling you, they are going to kill each other, and they are going to kill themselves. Also in our life, as Christians, let us try to recognize those who want to bring good news to us, and at the same time, let us avoid people who will shake our faith and lead us to fight one another. Let us ask the grace of God that we may produce the fruits of the earth. May the Lord be praised.